Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Help Creations. My shirt looks crooked. And today is Saturday the 14th. Um, it is uh, close to 7 p.m. We have been home for a couple of hours, got some dinner, got cleaned up, um, changed. It was uh, a long day, but uh, of course a rewarding one. So before I tell you how that went, I wanted to say hi to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are new to my channel, you are very welcome here. This is a lot about yarn and crocheting and life, <laughs> pretty much. Yarn purchases and lots of craft shows, craft uh, crochet patterns. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Um, I have made a cup of lemon euchanasia tea. I believe I got this from Lori from, uh, at the Armchair Chef. She sent me a bag of tea. It might have been that one. Oh, there we go. And what else? Okay, so like I stated, it's the 14th. So today happens to be your birthday. Happy birthday to you. If it happens to be your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. And congratulations. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to, uh-oh. Oh, it's an earring. It's a weird looking earring. Like, I think it's Cameron's. He's got an ear piercing. She's asleep down there on the floor. <laughs> we haven't been home very long. I think, <laughs> I think it wears them out. So anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great day. It's not over yet, just because it's almost seven. You still have several hours before the end of the day. So I hope you guys are enjoying your special day today. Now, this was a really cool event. I had never done this one before. And I, um, well, one of the reasons I know I signed up was because it, the booth fee was only $30. Uh, let's see, they had a band. They had a antique car show. They had a bouncy house, which was probably one of the biggest ones I've seen. It was SpongeBob SquarePants. Mm. <laughs> I'm not a fan, but it wasn't for me. They also had horseback riding and face paint. I, that's all I can remember. So Cameron and Jordan, of course, went with me. They are like my my um, loaders and unloaders, they're my helpers. And so I gave them, I think it was like $5 a ride and they take you around this really big circle. Cameron took a video of uh, Jordan on there and Jordan took a video of Cameron on the, the um, horse, which was called Zion. Cameron got attached, he said he really liked it. But they had, they had a really good time. And I came back with yet another empty bin. So pretty much, well, it's not pretty much. I'm trying to think. I only sold one lovey. I say only, but you know what? That was awesome. I mean, I sold a lovey. Someone bought a Paw Patrol lovey. Which was great because the baby really liked it. And get this. The baby's name was Boston. I thought that was so, so cool for a name, Boston. Anyway, it was really nice. And I kept getting him to to want to try to wave at me. And he would just kind of look. And I'd say, just wave, just one little wave. And he didn't do anything until his sister came back and bought a stingray for him on top of the... So I think the grandmother or the aunt... Someone came back because they stopped and they looked. Someone came back and picked up the Paw Patrol. Then another person from that family, the sister, came back and got him a stingray. And the, the third time, the mom, dad, and the baby came back so that she could handle the stingray. So, yeah, I think this first lady was the, the auntie. Anyway, he finally looked over at me big old brown eyes and started to wave. I think she told me he was seven months old. So stinking cute. Just adorable. 
So anyway, <laughs> it was a really good day. The kids were, excuse me, the kids were in and out. And my friend Tammy was next to me. Her and I do a lot of shows together as well. And then there was um, Willa and Willa and Pam. They make like really great bags. And then, you know, the little cozies for your bowl that you put in the microwave. I don't know if you can put, well, you should be able to put it in the microwave. But um, yeah, it's to, to, so your hands don't burn. I mean, it was awesome. So she's special ordering some for me or special making. I made a special order. So when they come in, I can't wait to show them to you. And I will see her again in November. So it'll be a, it'll be a, like a month or so but, uh, before that time. But anyway, let's see what else. There was that. And yeah, I think that's it. The food was really great. Everyone was so sweet. This was a very small town, you guys. The town was called Cisco and there was the population is like 250. It was very, very small. But I will tell you, I have never run into such an awesome group of friendly and inviting people. There, uh, we had passed by, we, cause Tammy followed me. So we had passed by our location cause I'd never been there before. And then I realized, oh my gosh, we're already heading on to the, uh, the freeway, like the 55, it's like a side road. And so we turned around and went back. I saw a gentleman sweeping the front, sweeping, you heard me, the sidewalk of his store. I stopped because Tammy was behind me. There was no other traffic. I asked this gentleman where I needed to go. He told me exactly where to go. And then he says, welcome to Cisco. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so amazing. Then that same gentleman at five o'clock comes up to my table and he knocks twice. He goes, thanks for coming. <laughs> what? It was so awesome. I mean, I just, I just could not believe it. I just looked at him and I said, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> so sweet. So April was the lady that was running the show, the event. She asked how everything was, how we thought she handled everything. It was great. Um, there was not a lot of vendors there, but I had a good day. So I didn't really keep track. I didn't take any pictures of anything because... The kids were out running around wanting to see what was going on. I, I mean, I took a picture. I didn't take any videos. So I did take a picture of the front side because I had two tables. I did the L shape. I had a table in the front, which consisted of my, um, what was the front? The front one was my signage or my, my big sign that said, you know, this Happy Hood Creations. And then right next to that was my business cards. And then I had the market bags, bucket hats, dishcloths and scrubbies. And then I had two rows of pom-pom hats. So aside from Amigurumi, on that table, I sold four scrubbies, one dishcloth, and four hats. Uh, nope, I sold four pom-pom hats and one bucket hat. Yes. And then on the other side of the table, so if you are a member of our the private group, you will have seen the picture. I took a picture of the front part, and then I took a picture of the side. And the side, I was right by the door, so whenever someone came in, my table with the amigurumi was the first one that they saw, if you came in on that door. So, with that being said... Everything that I've been making, uh, I want to say for the last, if it wasn't a special order and I made it and showed it to you, it sold. Yeah, let me just put it that way. I may not have written anything down, but I had all of those items that I was making in a container. And everybody, I mean, they just were gone. I mean, I had a family of... Uh, a dad and a mom and two kids. 
And the daughter was so funny because she kept looking through my scrunchies and she says well how much are these what is this and I go those are my scrunchies this is how much they are so she put one on her wrist then she went back and she put another one on her wrist then she thought oh this wrist is empty so she goes back over there puts another one on her wrist I had them in two locations one on the front table one on the side table um in my little bins that I had purchased oh they're not in here oh we haven't even unloaded the car so I don't even know why I looked but anyway, those were the bins that I bought at Big Lots. I told her that they were stackable. I won't stack them because I just think it's really hard to see and then you got to stick your hand in there. So I just lay them say, by, side by side. And there, that gives me four compartments. So one compartment had, had scrunchies, one had bumblebees, one, and one had um, the little mini octos, the curly octos from Joanna or Jonah, Jonah Martinez. I keep wanting to say Joanna. Jonah Martinez. And then I had some other ones with gummy bears well all that stuff is gone with the exception of a few of the scrunchies so she then went from that one table over to the other table where the scrunchies were and put another scrunchie on her arm and then the dad was like okay you're getting close to your limit what else do you know are you are you good so so she had two scrunchies so far on each arm and then she was looking around and then she wanted a loaf cat. I only had two left. She picked up a bright pink loaf cat. It was the one with the yarn that I showed you yesterday, the posh yarn. I made a loaf cat out of that. I did take a picture of it, but um, yeah, I put it in a video, but I don't think I posted that video yet. Anyway, she picked that up and now, so now she has a loaf kitty. And she has four scrunchies, two on each wrist. Then her little brother got an ice cream cone, changed his mind. Got a snow cone, changed his mind. Got an ice cream cone, changed his mind. Got a snow cone and a stingray. It was my last little stingray. And he said, then he looks over at me and he says, what would you choose if you thought, if you could only pick two? And... I just looked at him and I said, why not get both? <laughs> so the dad says, well, if she's getting, if she's getting uh, scrunchies or whatever, he said to her, then I'll go ahead and get this for your brother. And he said, so which two are you picking? <laughs> she just, <laughs> she looked him in the face and she says, how about five? <laughs> he says, that's not what I asked you. <laughs> she says, how about five? Do you know? he bought her five scrunchies. So she got five scrunchies, a loaf cat, and an octo. And he got an ice cream cone, a snow cone, a stingray. Yeah. So it was just too fun. I mean, she couldn't have been more than six years old, maybe seven. I don't know, somewhere around there. But he just says, which two are you getting? You're going to get those two. She just looked up at him and she says, how about five? Oh my gosh. And he was so sweet with them. He was so, and, and obviously he obviously had an amount for them to spend because he just took his, he says, okay, we'll take it all. I, she didn't even want a bag. She says, nope, I'm going to hold my kitty. And, um, she had the, the things on her wrist, the, the scrunchie. So the other two items she held on her own and the little boy, her brother wanted a bag. So I got him a bag for this stuff. So that was my that was my cute little thing of the day because that in Boston waving. But yeah, the little girl, I'm telling you guys, you have to be there because he's just like, yeah, which one? So which two are you going to get? And she just looked up. How about five? <laughs> I'm like the negotiator. That's what she is. She's just like, how about five? <laughs> Too adorable. And Tammy heard her. We were just cracking up. But we met some really nice people. Cameron and Jordan were off, like I said, running around doing their thing. They had Italian sandwiches. They had hot dog meals, Italian sandwich, Italian beef meals, Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donut coffee. And I don't know what else. So Cisco is about 20 minutes from where I live. So when Jack 
was available, he came and got him something to eat. He got him, he loves Italian beef. So he came and got some Italian beef and sat with us for a little, a little while before he left. And then we had, I believe, three hours left. He left around two something. And um, we were there. Now we could have stayed longer because they had a band that was, that was getting ready to start at five and was staying until 8.30. But I was already like getting tired. The kids were getting restless. We had been there since 8.30. So I was like, nah, we're gonna go. Let's just go ahead and go home. So we opted for home. So if you look back at the last, I didn't write anything down, but I guarantee you, <laughs> because I brought back another empty container. And so I had a bin with signage in it, a bin with lovies in it, and a bin with hats. But the amigurumi, yeah, my, oh my gosh, it's just, it was just great. So the only thing that didn't sell, um, I did take Frankie along with me. So many people picked him up. So many people. And then they were like, hmm, I'm not going to buy it. Guess they didn't like the price. That's okay, though. I don't mind. I can hang out with Frankie a little bit longer. Right now he's in the bin in, <laughs> in the back of my car. But that's okay. We're gonna, I'm going to get him out of there because I don't have another event now till October 3rd, or no, 4th, 5th, and 6th. That Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The very first weekend of, of October is our fall festival. And from what I understand, they're going to have um, hay rides. They're going to have uh, face painting, bouncy houses. They're going to have, what did they say? haunted houses, some for the smaller children, some for the older people, and then adults or something. So I can't wait to really, you know, see what's going to be going on. But I've got to get my grab bags together and have them ready in a bin so that they're they're done and I don't have to go, oh my gosh, I have to rush to get, no. So today is the 14th. If I, you know, I, I'll start, maybe I'll make a couple of things tonight, I don't know. But... Let's see, we have got Saturday, oh yes, 4th, 5th, and 6th. So it starts on a Saturday, so I can't say it was three weeks. I got 20 days. That's plenty of time, right? <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself. <laughs> 20 days is plenty, especially if I crochet every single day. So time to pull out the Halloween I just really like this hat. I have to show this to you guys again because it makes me happy. And I, I really think I'm going to make another one and just change the bottom. See how this one works up. My my granddaughter, Sierra, got the same yarn. It's that, that big twist Halloween yarn. But um, I really like this hat. And I know it's kind of holy, you know, because I don't know if you can. It's kind of holy because it's a... It's a stitch but I still like it so yeah we'll see we shall see it is time to start thinking about Halloween yay so I'm not gonna do any treat bags or anything I won't be crocheting any unless I have time after I'm done with the amount of amigurumi that I have to do so I've done four day five day events here before it was really busy. It was the Macon County Fair. They're saying that this is equally as busy as this one because everyone comes to the festival. So I have to make sure, and this it's in a shortened shortened amount of time, because so it's going from five days to three days. So I'm gonna pull out my orange yarn. I'm gonna pull out my yellow and my white, my green, my purple and get like some candy corn made up, some Frankensteins made up. Uh, I'm gonna really try to get some spiders made up and bats. You know, I've got that stuff all on my list, ghosts, because I don't have anything anymore, it's all gone. Uh, with the exception of maybe, I think I have maybe like seven or eight things. That's it. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be busy. But it's exciting, right? I mean, this is why I do it. I'm, I just get so excited. And 20 days is plenty. I'm just like, I, I mean, is that normal? If you have 20 days before like one of your biggest shows of the year, one of them, because I've had a few already. 
I, I just don't think, I mean, what is panicking going to do? It's not going to do anything. It's not going to solve anything at all. So I'm going to write out a game plan and I'm going to tackle it one item at a time if my brain will let me. <laughs> If you're new here, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn quick. But let's say I want to do octos, and then the tomorrow I'm gonna show you like all axolotls, because that's just how my brain works. I'm like, oh, let me start this octo. I get so distracted. I'm like, ooh, I should make an axolotl. <laughs> yes, that's really how it works. So, oh well, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Okay. Oh, I just realized that my my shirt kind of sort of matches. I mean, it's not yellow, but it matches. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm going to let you go now. <laughs> um, oh, she's so, she's so sleepy. Oh, I still have, nope, I took it out. I had on a, um, a scrunchie. I must have taken it out so that it didn't get, like, wet. Oh, I'm working on a candy cane. I'm finishing up a candy cane dress, actually. And that's for someone. I made one. She needs me to make her another one. I'm looking around. Oh, I need to get this. I need to start using this cup. Seriously. That's a big cup. I wonder how many ounces that is. That's a, that is a lot. I need to get some cold ice water in that, baby. Because, oh, I just love it. And it glows in the dark, so I'm going to stick it under the light real quick. And then I'm going to turn the light off. <laughs> I love glow in the dark. Oh, I got my glow in the dark yarn. I got to write that down. Hold on. I got to write that down because if I don't, I'm going to forget that it's in that bag. Glow in the dark. <sighs> yarn. Because I would like to make... What did I make with them last year? I made some ghosts. And then I made, oh yeah, the One Night Monsters, Chronically Crocheting. Yep, got to do that. Ice cream cones, you name it. Just name something that I've been making, and I got to make it because I don't have any. So, I'll be getting busy. And thank you all for your comments. Thank you for all your well wishes today because, yet again, it was a successful market. And I appreciate you so much for that. <laughs> Really, I do. So, in case I forgot one, which I hope is not the case, I really do. My next show is October 4th, 5th, and 6th. And I will be showing my progress every single day so that you can see what I'm doing. What do you think? So... <laughs> Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to make anything new or not. I'm going to look through all the patterns that you guys have been sending me and, you know, try to make a few of them to see just how long they are. I'm trying to find something that is time effective for me because with working and having to get this done, I don't want to spend a lot of time on one item. I want to just, I just want to be able to just crank them out and put them in the bin and fill up when that bin is full then I'll start on another set because, you know, again, three day event. So I want to make sure I have three day events, three, three days work. So I'm thinking I've been watching all of these videos and I remember how it was when I did the five day event there. So I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to have anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 worth of inventory. So, that's what I'm going to do. And Jack thought it would be a cool idea if, you know, I just started making things every day. And even though I'm showing you, you know, what I'm, what I'm making, um, keep it all gathered together. And then the day or maybe before I, before I load up, which will be Thursday night, that Thursday, right? Thursday the 3rd. Oh, mom and dad's anniversary. My father and mother-in-law will be celebrating their 65th wedding anniversary, October 3rd. So, um, yeah, I think I'll, because we'll go to dinner and, and hang out with them. And then that evening, we'll load up the car. This one, I don't have to take tables or chairs, thank goodness. J 
just my product <laughs> just my product my signs and tablecloths to fill to fill the table and that's it well and my my clothing rack i'll take that if i have any left because um that's one thing i did take this time and one two i sold three of the bohemian vests so it's really i really got to buckle up and get some even if it's just get one or two made it didn't take very long just a couple of hours but it would be really cool to make one to match this hat hmm just use two colors black and variegated just like i did with this one and then i will i would have a, a hat to match it that is not a bad idea hmm okay we'll see We'll see what I can do. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, if you haven't already sent me something, because you guys are so great about that, I'm looking for a pattern. Um, I will take one that takes me less than an hour, but I prefer 30 minutes or less. If it's just something different. I've got the Octo. I've got the Axolotl. So I've been making Octos, Axolotls. I've been making Ghosts. I've made stingrays i've made oh, you guys i've got that stingray with the mouth so i could put four stingrays in there the mama stingray one from Teresa's crochet shop i forgot all about that anyway i've been making that the mini the little mini bees um, the mini octos and gummy bears gummy bears are good too i've been making those as well and I made that, that Frankenstein and I thought I could make one smaller, right? Just make it and sh shrink it down. Do exactly what the pattern calls for. Just use a thinner yarn uh, and a thinner, a smaller hook. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so now that I've got a game plan, like I stated earlier, I will be sharing with you guys every day to let you know how I do. And since I'm on this kick, <clears throat> excuse me, does anyone else have like a major show coming up that's multiple days? Um, even if you just have one event, because I've noticed that a lot of you are posting that you have events in the evening, um, like outside events. I'm still going to be inside, probably in the same spot that I was in last year and the year before, but do any of you guys have like a special event coming up in the next few weeks like I do? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And what is your favorite go-to pattern for, for a craft fair if you do craft fairs? Let me know. All right. Okay, it's been like 28 minutes, so I'm going to get off here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And thank you so much for the, the good vibes and the comments on my craft bear because as always they mean so much to me and it's like good juju so <laughs> so thank you i appreciate you guys so much for that have a good rest of your day and enjoy your birthday or your anniversary enjoy your day regardless to what day it is but if it is a very special day if it's something that means something to you i hope it's wonderful <laughs> all right guys i'll see you when i see you thanks for watching Happy hooking. Bye for now.